हेलो गाइस वेलकम टू नेट एक्सपर्ट्स माय नेम इज सिद्धांशु कपूर टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू स्टार्ट द फर्स्ट लेक्चर ऑफ माइक्रोसॉफ्ट विंडोज सर्वर 2019 वीडियो सीरीज इन दिस लेक्चर वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट व्हाट इज सर्वर लेट्स स्टार्ट द सेशन गाइस सो वी टॉक अबाउट सर्वर सो सर्वर इज व्हाट इट्स अ फिजिकल डिवाइस और यू कैन से दैट इट्स अ लॉजिकल कंपोनेंट थ्रू व्हिच वी कैन प्रोवाइड रिसोर्सेज Now resources means like data, application, software, hardware. These are the resources provided by server to other computers in the network. Like I'll give you the live example. Like imagine now you are the client and I am the server. I provide you the knowledge of server 2019. So I am giving you something and you receiving you something. So client is used to receive or request the resources. and server is is used to provide the resources so right now if we talk about the technical terms so server provides you so many things server provides the data server provides application server provides softwares hardware so these are the resources provided by the servers in our client machines or in our computers in the network now we talk about the types of server hardware now the question is If I need to make a server, what I need? I need a dedicated server hardware. As you can see that we have two types of server hardware: rack server and blade server. Or I can make desktop machines or laptops also as a server. We can we can make my desktop as a server as well. How we can go for that? I need to just install server server addition in my desktop. So that so my desktop is behaving as a server. Or in my laptop, I can install server operating system. Like I can install 2012 server or 16 server or 19 server, so that laptop is automatically becoming a server, and it provides user resources. Now the question is, why we need server hardware? If we have desktop is behaving as a server, and laptop also we we behave as a server, so why we need server hardware? Now imagine, today I make one company or I or I open one company. In my company, I have only ten systems, ten PCs. All PCs are in desktop. All PCs are desktop PCs. Fine. Now, I I want I want to make one server. So what I what I need to do? I I pick one desktop and I install server 2019 edition on that. Or server 2012. I have we have so many server operating systems are there. Start with 2000, 2003, 2008, 12, 16, 19. 19. So many editions are there. So imagine that I can install Server 2019 in my desktop, in one of my desktop computer, and that computer is behaving as a server. And with the help of that computer, and with the help of that Server 2019 desktop, I am able to manage all the computers running in the network. Now, right now it's okay. I don't, I don't need any server hardware. Now the question is that, like imagine in the future, if my Company is increasing. My computers are increasing. Today I have ten computers. Imagine after one month or two months. After two months, you can say that my I have thousand computers. So the question is that desktop server which I which I was created previously, that server is able to manage my thousand computers. Is able to manage thousand computer queries queries. Like imagine, I'll give you a simple example. Like imagine that if you want to open Google, so so in uh, means per day you can say that millions and billions of people are accessing Google. So if Google has a desktop server, if Google has a desktop computer and he installs server and the desktop computer behaving as a server, so that desktop computer are handling that much requests. That means billions and billions and millions and trillions of requests are able to handle it. The answer is no. Now the question is why? Why? Why this that that desktop computer is not able to handle it? Why? Because their configuration is low. Why? Because their configuration is very low. They are not able to manage all the stuffs. They are not able to manage that that much load. So for that, what we need? We need a server hardware. If we talk about the difference between desktop computer working as a server. Or laptop computer working as a server or server hardware. The difference is the hardware. Like in the desktop, we can place maximum one processor, not more than that. 
as all of you know that. In the laptop, we can place only or maximum one processor. In in desktop or laptop computers, we can place maximum 32 GB of RAM, not more than that. But in our servers, if I talk about the server hardware, that you can see that rack server and blade server, we have two types of server hardware. So if I can use these server hardware, I can place 64 processors in one server. No comparison it. In desktop, I have only one processor. But in my server hardware, I have 64 processors. So who is the best? Of course, as compared with the, if I compare with the hardware, so who is the best? My hard server hardware is the best because it has 64 processors. It means it works faster than 64 times as compared to desktop or laptops. In my one desktop or laptop, we can place maximum 32 GB of RAM, not more than that. 16 and 32, not more than that. But if I talk about the servers, we can place 128 GB of RAM, <clears throat> 256 GB of RAM, like this. So that's why we need server. Why we need server? Because server configuration is very high. We have a very, very high server configuration, that's why we need servers. If you have a very large organization, if you have a very high amount of data, so in that case, what we need? We need a server hardware through which we can manage billions or millions of requests at the same time. Understood? Fine. So this is the concept we have. So we have two types of server. One is rack server and one is blade server. The blade server is the older one. As you can see that. This is the blade server. As you can see that, if, I, if I'm showing you there, so you can see that we have n number of n number of uh, RAM slots. You can see that 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 over there and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 6 over there. Total we have 12 slots in this particular server. Okay, so like imagine if I if I place 8 GB of RAM, 1 8 GB of RAM, so total we have make 12 GB, 12 uh, uh, RAM, so into 12 into 8. So 96 GB I am able to insert on this particular server. As you can see that we have two processors over there. One processor, second processor. We have two processors, so I can place two processors in this. Maximum, we can reach up to 64 processors, not more than that. So this is the blade server, this is the old technology, you can see that. Now we can use rack servers. In rack servers, what they have, they have big, big racks. Over there, we can place n number of hard disks, so many number of hard disks, so many number of processors, so many number of uh, RAMs and that. In comparison, these two, rack servers and blade servers, so rack server uh, speed is very fast. It support SSD hard disks, now in this case. We have SSD hard disk, SSD hard disk means, it, that, that hard disk is very, uh, very fast hard disk, you can say that. So we can use SSD hard disk and all the stuff. So, we have two types of server hardware, so where I can use server hardware? Where we, if we have a large amount of network, if we have large amount of data to manage, if we have large amount of queries to handle, in that case we can use server hardware. If I have a small company then we can use our desktop working as a server as well. I don't want to purchase a server hardware because it's expensive. If I want to try to buy the server hardware, it starts with uh, 1.5 lakh, 2 lakh, 3 lakh like this. Okay, fine. So this is the way. Or they, they, this is the uh, process where we can use server hardware or why we can use server hardware in this image. Now next we need to understand why do we need server. So we need server for centralized management. Now what is the meaning of centralized management over there now? Centralized management means with the help of one server I can manage all my clients. That is known as centralized management. And, or you can see that like I will give you an example. Those who are working in the, in, the, in the company. Like imagine I open my company. My company grows. So now in my, in, in my company I have two branches, one in Delhi, one is Bangalore. Now, com my, now my company grows more. Now I have four branches, one in Delhi, one in Bangalore, one in Hyderabad, one in Chennai. So with the help of one branch, I can I I, I want to I want to manage all my branches. Like imagine today I work on Delhi. Now I need to work on Bangalore server. So I have two options. Either I can switch to either I can uh, travel to Bangalore and then I can set on the Bangalore server locally. Or what I do, with the help of Delhi branch, I am able to access my Bangalore server and I am able to manage it. So why we need server? First we need to understand centralized management. So server provides you centralized management. With the help of centralized management or with the help of one server, I can manage all my network and all my multiple networks as well. All my different locations as well. 
if your if your company or if your office has three to four sites, three to four physical locations, so with the help of one physical location, I can manage all my physical locations as well. So that's why we need server. Number second, we can provide the security. If they provide you security, like imagine, I can save some data on the server. So now I imagine that I have some data, some confidential files are there, some applications are there, some softwares are, are running in my server. So I need to protect my server. That someone, un, someone unknown person is not able to access my server, not able to theft my data. So I, so server provides you security as well. It provides you so many things. It provides you group policies, permissions. So many things are there. With the help of security, we can secure our network. Not only our network, we can secure different networks as well. Now, next we have a performance. As I already already told you that if you have a desktop computer and if you're using server server hardware, so what's the difference between the hardware performance? My desktop supports only one processor, but my server supports 64 processors maximum. So that is the performance. My server works 64 times faster as compared to desktop and laptops. That's why I need we need a server hardware. Quick access to the data. Same thing. My server supports high bandwidth also. Now, if you talk about the bandwidth, bandwidth means the cable, the speed of cable. Like imagine in my one desktop or, or, or laptop or desktop, it, it supports only 100 Mbps of cable, not more than that. But if you talk about the server, so we can, uh, so, the, so it, it supports 1 GB of 1 gigabit per second so, uh, speed also. It supports 100 gigabit of speed also. So as per the requirement, you can define this, you can define the high speed LAN cards on my server and we can access the data as quickly as possible. As fast as possible, I'm sorry, as fast as possible. Because in servers we have, we, we work on SSD hard disk. SSD hard disk is very fast as compared to other hard disks. Not to worry, we can discuss about hard disks as, uh, hard disks as well. But we need to understand why we need server three, four major points. Centralized management for security, for performance and for quick access to the data. Next, we have types of servers. So we have so many types of servers. Server provides you so many services like application server, data server, database server, and web servers. Like application server provides you the application. I don't want to install applications on my computers, on my on my physical computers, on my personal computers. I just want to install application on my servers, and server provides you that applications. So with the help of my computer, I am able to access the application with the server from server. That's why we have application server. Database server, we have so many database servers. As uh, lots, lots of uh, you know, knows that what is SQL server database, SQL database, Oracle database, MySQL database. These are the database servers we have. Through which we can manage huge amount of database. We can manage huge amount of data like Google. Google, like imagine that if you search anything on Google, the so Google has that information. So Google has the has very huge amount of database. So that's why we need a database server to manage those databases. The last one we have web server. This is the basic basic services I, I talk about in this lecture. This is a very basic services. Servers provide you so many services, not these three. It's so many. You talk about web servers. So as you all of you know that if you want to access any web page, any website, so we need to so with the with the, with the our workstation. We can access the web servers. All the websites and web pages are deployed on web servers. So if I want to access Google, so right now in the in, in short, we can access Google server in that case. We can access Google web server. My request goes to Google web server and then Google web server respond me with the page. So in my computer, the page is open in that case. Understood? Fine. So that is what we have. So types of servers. So, so these are the types of services provided by the servers. Application server, database server, web server. So many things are there also. AD services, DSCP services, DNS services, file services. So many services are provided by servers. Fine. So I hope you're able to understand this, this lecture, guys. This is a very basic lecture. Who doesn't know what is server, why we can use server. So I hope you're able to understand what is server and why we can use server. So, if you understand this lecture, if you think that this lecture is beneficial for you, please like and share this lecture. Share this uh, lecture for your friends as well. 
and thank you for watching guys if you have any any comment anything you want to ask any question you have please comment me on this video thank you guys for watching